Hello, this is Q&A and let's overview the IMO performance standard for the EGDIS equipment. Let's overview the resolution MSC232. It is adopted on 5th of December 2006. It is still in force even if already number 500 sorted. The newer version is existing. This is a calculation that establishes the requirements for Agnes and the equipment of any manufacturer if it is Agnes. It must meet those regulations. Here we try to highlight the most important requirements of the resolution. The primary function of EGDIS is to contribute to safe navigation. EGDIS with adequate backup arrangements may be accepted as complying with up-to-date chart and uh, nautical publications required by regulations uh, 1974 of the SOLAS Convention. EGDIS should be capable of displaying all nautical information necessary for safe and efficient navigation, originated and distributed by or on the authority of a government or a satellite hydrographic office or other relevant government institution, as required by SOLAS regulations. The EGDIS display may also be used for the display of radar, radar track target information, AIS, and other appropriate data layers to assist in route monitoring. AGDIS should provide appropriate alerts or indications with respect to the information displayed or malfunctions of the equipment. These performance standards should apply to all AGDIS equipment carried on all ships as follows. It should have dedicated stand-alone workstation and a multifunction workstation as a part of INS, which means Integrated Navigation System. System database information available for display during route planning and route monitoring should be subdivided into the following three categories display base, standard, display, and all other information. EGDIS should present the standard display at any time by a single operator action. It should be easy to add or remove information from the EGDIS display. It should not be possible to remove information contained in the display base. It should be possible for the marine to select a safety contour from the information provided by the system database. EGDIS should emphasize the safety contour over the contours on the display. However, if the marine does not specify a safety contour, this should default to 30 meters. If the safety contour specified by the marine or the default 30 meters contour is not in the displayed system database, the safety contour shown should default to the next deeper contour. If the safety contour in use becomes unavailable due to a change in source data, the safety contour should default to the next deeper contour. In each of the above cases, an indication should be provided and the marina should be able to select a permanent display of safety contour and safety depth settings. It should be possible for the marina to select safety depths. Agdis should emphasize sounding equal to or less than the safety depths whenever spot soundings are selected for display. Agdis should provide an indication if the information is displayed at a larger scale than that contained in the ENC. On ship's position is covered by ENC at a larger scale than that provided by the display. Or information at own ship's position is not displayed because of applying scale minimum for display. Agdis 
should provide for true motion mode. Other modes are permitted. I show recommended colors and symbols should be used to present system database information. The colors and symbols other than those mentioned in previous line should comply with the applicable requirements contained in the IMO standards for navigational symbols. Access should be capable of displaying information for route planning and supplementary navigation tasks and route monitoring. The effective size of the chart presentation for route monitoring should be at least 270 mm multiplied on 270 mm. The display should be capable of meeting the color and resolution recommendations of International Hydrographic Office. The largest scale data available in the system database for the area given should always be used by the AGDIS for all alerts or indications of crossing the ship's safety contour and of entering a prohibited area and for alerts and indications. It should be possible to plan one or more alternative routes in addition to the selected route. The selected route should be clearly distinguishable from the other routes. An indication is required if the marine plans a route across an open ship's safety contour. It should be possible for the marine to specify a cross-track limit of deviation from the planned route at which an automatic off-track alarm should be activated. According to the performance standard, each AGDIS must give alarms an indication on the set of events required in the standard. For example, AGDIS should give an alarm if within a specified time set by the marine, oven ship will cross the safety contour. AGDIS should provide an alarm when the input from the position heading or speed sources is lost. AGDIS should also repeat, but only as an indication, any alarm or indication passed to it from position, heading or speed sources. AGDIS should store and be able to reproduce certain minimum elements required to reconstruct the navigation and uh, verify the official database use it during the previous 12 hours. The following data should be recorded at one minute intervals to ensure a record of open ship's past track, time, position, heading and speed and to ensure a record of official data used as ANC source edition, date, cell and update history. Bearings and distances are drawn on the display or those measured between features already drawn on the display should have the accuracy no less than that afforded by the resolution of the display. Agdis should be provided with means for either automatical or manual carrying out on board tests of major functions. In case of a failure, the test should display information to indicate which model is at fault. Agdis should provide a suitable alarm or indication of system malfunctions. Adequate backup arrangements should be provided to ensure safe navigation in case of an AGDIS failure. Changing from one source of power supply to another, any interruption of the supply for a period of up to 45 seconds should not require the equipment to be manually reinitialized. So, the stated performance standard establishes the minimum of must-have options for AGDIS as shipboard equipment. It means that AGDIS from any producer will have the same but not less set of functions indicated in the standard.
The IMA performance standards specify the following general requirement. Display of government as a result vector chart data, including an updating capability, enable route planning, route monitoring, manual positioning, and continuous plotting of the ship's position. Have a presentation as reliable and available as an official paper chart. Provide appropriate alarms or indications regarding displayed information or malfunctions and permit a mode of operation with Rust chart. The performance standards also specify additional functions summarized as follows. Display of system information in three selectable levels of detail. Means to ensure correct loading of ENC data and updates. Apply updates automatically to system display. Protect chart data from any alteration. Permit display of update content. Store updates separately and keep records of application in system. Indicate when user zooms too far in or out on a chart, over or under scale, or when a larger scale chart is available in memory. Permit the overlay of a radio image and upper information onto the display. Require north up orientation and true motion mode, but permit other combinations. Use IHO specified resolution, colors and symbols. Use IEC specified navigational elements and parameters like range, bearing marker, position fix, oven ship, track and vector, waypoint, title information, etc. Use specified size of symbols, letters and figures at scale specified in chart data. Permit display of ship as symbols or in true scale. Display route planning and other tasks. Display route monitoring. Permit display to be clearly viewed by more than one user in day or night conditions. Permit route planning in straight and curved segments and adjustment of a point. Display a route plan in addition to the route selected for monitoring. Permit track limit selection and display an indication if track limit cross a safety contour or a selected prohibited area. Permit display of an area away from ship while continuous to monitor selected route. Give an alarm at selectable time prior to ship crossing a selected safety contour or prohibited area. Plot ship's position using a continuous positioning system with an accuracy consistent with the requirements of safe navigation. Identify selectable discrepancy between primary and secondary positioning system. Provide an alarm when positioning system input is lost. Provide an alarm when positioning system and chart are based on different geodetic datums. Store and provide for replay the elements necessary to reconduct navigation and verify chart data in use during previous 12 hours. Record the track for entire voyage with at least 4 hour time marks. Permit accurate drawing of ranges and bearings not limited by display resolution. Require system connection to continuous position fixing, heading and speed information. Neither degrade nor be degraded by connection to other sensors. Conduct on board tests of major functions with alarm or indication of malfunctions. Permit normal functions on emergency power circuit. Permit power interruptions of up to 45 seconds without system failure or need to reboot. Enable takeover by backup unit to continue navigation if master unit fails. Before an IMO compliant EGDIS can replace paper charts on vessel governed by SOLAS regulations, the route of the intended voyage must be covered completely by ENC data. That ENC data must include the latest updates. The EGDIS installation must be IMO compliant, including the master slave network with full sensor fit to both units. And the national authority of the transited waters must allow for paperless navigation through the published regulations.
The Performance Standard is a document about 30 pages and it is reachable to read to all EGDIS users. It consists of a resolution, Annex with 16 chapters and appendices at the end to which the text of the Annex continuously refers. So, on the diagram, we name all chapters of the Annex. Stay with us on Q&A. See you and good luck! We we'll slide the button for the next question already. But to help us, we need you to subscribe to the channel. And we hope your thumb is rising up for the like.